So why would you play Valor Charge Blade? You love endless combos, you want serious impact with your hits, you want even more of a reason to stay in axe mode, you don't want to have to actually charge your shield, and you want to fill your files quick. Let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into these reasons. The endless combo you have in axe mode is an absolutely devastating loop that flows seamlessly and can be perfect when you down a monster or a nice cheeky way of sneaking in some solid damage when an opening presents itself. This is a situation where you literally press A to win. Whether you start with the single side swipe or the double slash, it always goes through a smooth transition. If you have your files charged and a monster is in a down state, the amount of damage and KO damage if you're using impact files is so good. Speaking of impact, let's jump into another reason. This reason requires you to choose a charge blade that has impact files, but I promise you won't feel bad doing so. We know that blunt weapons have a very easy time of KOing monsters, but I don't know if I've ever had an easier time myself than when I'm using Valor Charge Blade, and honestly, with the wide sweeping attacks, I've gotten quite a few of them from accidentally hitting the monster in the head while I'm spamming that endless combo I was talking about. You can combine this with the fact that Charge Blade has some pretty dope arts. You can throw a ripper shield on to fill up your knockout juice super fast and get back to bopping bitches. You could also use Limit Breaker to greatly extend the amount of files you have in the first place, and then you can go for that KO now that you have an arsenal of mini explosions. But to do that, you first have to fill up all of those files. Luckily, Valor Charge Blade does the trick and does it pretty well. Your Charge Slash with the Valor Sheath does absolute wonders for file filling power. Literally, you can go from nothing to red files after a single Charge Slash. Obviously, this makes you commit a tiny bit more to the attack, but the potency of filling up the files alone makes it that much more worth it. And you're pretty safe anyway since you're starting out with a Valor Sheath. Having this easy access to files really gives you an opportunity to explore some of the other arts as well, seeing as how you don't really feel forced to throw Ripper Shield in there for a quick fill up. Limit Break is one of the ones that I really enjoy using with Valor Charge Blade to help rip off those KOs and make the most of those impact explosions while I'm doing that endless combo. And now, a quick word from our sponsor. Do you love Malfestio? Do you love sleep bombing monsters except instead of just using barrel bombs, you use files of explosive energy and a giant axe? Then look no further than the Zophar Wing. Not only does it put monsters to sleep, but it looks absolutely stunning while you do it. Equipped with a single decoration slot to help improve your builds, purple sharpness ready to go with sharpness too, a not too shabby 310 base raw, and the Zophar Wing will have monsters dreaming of a time where they didn't have to run into you. Fight some Hyper Malfestio and get yours today. Now, one of the biggest draws to the Valor Charge Blade is going to be the Blue Shield. No, not Blue Steel. The Blue Shield in Valor Charge Blade is going to be less potent than the Red Shield, but the thing it has over the Red Shield is the fact that you don't have to feed your files to charge the shield. Once you fill up your Valor Gauge, boom, you have your shield charged. It's really nice too because you can pretty easily keep your Valor Mode activated for quite a while. You no longer need to feed your files and can strictly use them for explosive power like they were built for. Now, full disclosure with the blue shield, you're not going to be getting the explosions from a charged shield when you guard like you would with a red shield. You also only get your improved guard when you pull off a guard point. With the red shield, you actually get an increase in your guard skill, but with blue shield, you don't. For me, neither of those things are deal breakers, but if you're someone who struggles with guard points, it may steer you away. Funny enough, I fall into both camps. I'm not great with guard points, so playing Valor Charge Blade has given me that extra push to try and improve upon it. Overall, the pros outweigh the cons for me when it comes to the Blue Shield, and I definitely recommend you get a taste for yourself and enjoy that ease of access. Now, the situations that I use Valor Charge Blade in are the ones that are similar to maybe weapons like a hammer or hunting horn. I want to break the head, I need horns, or some kind of reasoning similar to that. Valor Charge Blade gives you that very same kind of head breaking potential while also being beyond capable of sniping a tail or two on a hunt. More so than the other two bonking weapons, you have that looping combo to really let you focus down a part on a monster. I can't tell you how many times I've KO'd a monster or lopped its tail off, going wild and looping that axe combo with ferocity. 
If you like doing this as well, Valor Charge Blade is definitely for you. If you're the type of person that may have been a little intimidated by Charge Blade because of the shield charging, file filling, and weapon morphing, give Valor Charge Blade a try. You don't have to worry about feeding files into your shield because once you reach Valor State, your shield is automatically charged. Yes, albeit the blue shield is slightly weaker than the red shield, it's also way more accessible and a lot easier to prolong it. So whether you're a Charge Blade main, expert, enthusiast, or fresh onto the scene, Valor Charge Blade will be an absolute blast and help you find a new love for the weapon. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Hunting with Style. What style and weapon combo should I cover next? Which combo do you think is underrated, underappreciated, or just super fun? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to pester me in real time, feel free to join the Discord at the link in the description. Or join the Patreon to support the channel directly. Have a good night, happy hunting, and I will see you guys in the next video.